Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Keyamu mocks Obi after he said, we make mistakes as humans and he will never knowingly break any law. So that's your brother, uh, uh, Festus Keyamu, mocking you know, our brother, Peter Obi, for saying as human beings, we make mistakes, but breaking the law is off the table. You know, uh, and you'll be surprised why he said so and uh, why Keyamu feels that it is okay for him to mock Peter Obi, which is causing serious reaction as every single person is wondering, you know, where do we go from here and why are things the way they are? So if you look at the whole situation and everything going on, you can begin to, you know, tell that sincerely, truly speaking, there is urgent need, you know, for every single person to rise up to the occasion and not allow, uh, you know, just anybody or anything, you know, to, to just be clad our judgment and just take things the way they are. Yeah, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Keyamu mocks Peter Obi after he said, we make mistakes as human beings, but he will never knowingly break any law. In a statement released by the Labour Party 2023 presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, the, he stated that as humans, we all make mistakes and that he will never knowingly break any law as he has lived his life in the most law-abiding manner and way. Reacting to Obi's statements, Festus Kiyamu, him who seems to be trailing Peter Obi's every move, released a statement via his Twitter handle where he mocked Peter Obi for this statement. He said, Sometimes as humans we make mistakes, but I will never knowingly break any law. I am therefore not afraid of the lies and propaganda against my person. They are part of the journey for a new Nigeria to be built and formed. Mocking Peter Obi, first Oskeyamu said, So this is how someone will have mistakenly sold off Nigeria if he had mistakenly become president. Now, wow and he wants to be, be president. He does not know being president is being resolute and being strong and stand on what you believe. In respect of what happened, you must stand on your ground. He says he has been law-abiding, which is what everybody has been. All Nigerians have been law-abiding. If you are not law-abiding, you will have yourselves to blame. You will have yourselves to blame because we cannot allow people of such to continue to uh, to build to think they can build this Nigeria that belongs to every one of us. So that's first Oskeyamu. Peter Obi says something. First Oskeyamu don't pick him, take him out of contest. He don't fight. Peter Obi say we well, say uh, we for don't mistakenly sell off this country. Oh hey 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 hey. See the man. Oh, we for don't mistakenly sell off the country. Why? Because Peter Obi said. You know, people make mistakes, but he will not willingly make a mistake and sell this country. Not be smart, you know. First of all, I don't face her. Say, guy, guy, guy. And I won't rule the country. I call it wonder. I call it wonder, you know. Where exactly are we with all of this? Okay? Where exactly are we with all of this? How come, you know, we person talk, it could be like, say, person to talk. Okay? The person talk, it could be like, say, person to talk. Uh, person not supposed to talk. We just tire out. No says tired person, honestly, sincerely speaking. A tired person. Because if you look at the whole scenario, the whole situation, everything that is happening, you know that truly, sincerely, really speaking, this country, we don't really all really need, you know, that position, that opportunity to make the change really work. Because it is not a one man's thing. Yeah, every single one of us must be sincere, willing, and, you know, you know, uh, sincere, willing, and ready to move this nation forward. Because the, the minute we stop, you know, building and we think that we can just, you know, we can just get away with it and we begin to do other things. What happens is that they take advantage of it. Okay. They take advantage of it and they begin to do every other thing. And, you know, just throw us around and think that, you know, we, we have no say. We can't allow that to happen. You know, we all have a part to play in all of this. Every single one of us have a part to play. So we need to be honest. We need to be sincere. We need to be sensitive to the fact that 
this nation belongs to us and because politicians choose to behave and to do the way they do does not mean we can have them we can we can allow them to push us around you know what happened to somebody being pushed around after a while you lose your sense of belonging you don't even know where you stand you are neither here nor there and so you are moved and driven around by every single, you know, wind and whatever is being said. And at the end of the day, you have no true personality. You have nothing, you know, uh, allocated to you. You don't, you're not even you. You don't even know yourself. You don't, you don't even know yourself, you know. So these are some of the things sincerely, truly that are happening and why Nigerians, you know, must arise and, you know, and defend the cause of our nation. And ensure that at the end of the day, none of us is left, you know, in a position or in a place where we cannot truly rise up and we cannot defend us. We must be who we are supposed to be. Okay. As a nation and as a people, we must stand for what is right, for what is necessary to change the course of what is happening right here and now. Yes. So it is what it is. It's really a sad case where a few minor group of people keep doing what they are doing and they think that they have a right to push every other person around. It doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't work that way. They think they have a right to do what they want to do and nobody can talk, nobody can speak. They think they have the right, you know. So these are some of the things that are happening that is going on that we need to pay attention to and nobody, you know, should, should allow some selfish individual to be the ones to determine what happens to us where we all together must make this change and make it you know worthwhile so it is what it is it is what it is it is it is an is, is a situation is in is a nation is a place where everything we need to bring this country into the desired destination where change become our watchword we must adhere to it we cannot you know we cannot even afford to dabble, to dabble between opinions, we must be honestly, sincerely ready to make that change and to make Nigeria what it needs to be. So it is what it is, you know. So we, we, we need to, you know, we need to ensure that every single person is rising up to the occasion and we are who we are supposed to be without any fear or, or whatever it is. We are able to stand for the right thing and do the right things always. Yes? Yes? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.